Hi there, my name is Colin Burke and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a film review of The Haunting of the Mary Celeste. It's a horror film, uh, rated 15 on Amazon. Uh, it's an hour and 14 minutes. Um, Amazon rating overall is 3 out of 5 and IMDb is 3.3 out of 10. The Amazon synopsis is... A researcher sets out to prove that the disappearance of the infamous Mary Celeste was due to supernatural reasons. A theory proves horrifyingly true as her boat breaks down and the crew begin to vanish one by one. This terrifying tale of haunting on the high seas proves that some mysteries are best left unsolved. So the director is Shana Betts, S-H-A-N-A B-E-T-Z, and she directed Free Ride. The producer, the six of them, so pick three of them. Uh, Justin Ambrosini, Bazzino, A M B R O S I N O, who produced The Last Buffet. Brian Dreyfus, D R E Y F U S S, who produced Compulsion. And Norman Dreyfus, who produced Red. Music was Alex Ruger, R U G E R who did the music for Jump Force, the game. Uh, now the cast, I've put them all down because there ain't many. We have Emily Swallow, who is Rachel, who is in Seal Team, the series. Alice Hunter, who was Cassandra, and she was in Girl House. Pierre Adele, A-D-E-L-E, -E, was Aldo, and this is the only film he's ever been in. Richard Roundtree, who was Tulls, who was in Shaft. Dominic DeVore, D-E-V-O-R-E, who was Grant, who was in P-Valley, which is a series, and Ava Aquas, A-C-R-E-S, uh, -E who was Sophia, and she is uh, in American Horror Story, a series. Um, just so you know, that the image there I found for uh, Pierre Adele is the only one I could find. Obviously, if I watch the film, you, you might see it there, but that's beside the point. Um, so when it starts up again, it's a high flyers film. I've I've seen so many of the low rated films that are, are done by high flyers, which is you know fine. I'm used to them now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, credits come up. There's water. There's a photo floating around in the, in the water. Some ominous music. You know that kind of music, like Jaws kind of style. Um, so the main character is Rachel, who's Emily Swallow. Uh, she's got cuttings, photos, articles about the boat. Um, so she, her and um, uh, Cassandra, who's Alice Hunter, and Grant, who's Dominic DeVore, head off down to the uh, harbour to find their boat because they're off to, you know, to look at the Mary Celeste area. Uh, but of course it's gone. Um, so she enlists Richard Roundtree, who's Tulls, um, to get them out there on his boat. And Pierre Adel is Aldo and he's he's the um, shipmate as it were basically I think Aldo can't speak English and Tulls can't speak the Farsi language that he's speaking so interesting um, the music it was it was doing so well it was kind of like you know ominous and then it's just the generic kind of music in the background and as soon as the boat starts to leave it's this kind of weird western music you know like I, I feel like I've just literally just walked into western uh, I was waiting for the yeehaw but it, it's just so weird um, and as soon as they got out to sea it stopped and it went back to the, the music <sighs> she has an interesting theory on the reasons why they all disappeared and it it does kind of tell you an IMDB and you think, oh, okay then, now, how's this going to work? Um, it is an interesting one because most people have theories about the Mary Celeste and if you don't know what it is, look it up on Wikipedia. Um, uh, but basically I think there was a ship that just went missing, came back, all the crew were gone and the ship was still floating along. Um, so... <laughs> This is hilarious. It had nothing to do with the film as such. So they arrived at the spot. Um, and uh, actually, no, I'm just jumping ahead again. So they arrived at the spot and the tension, right? So there's there's some heavy steps. You know, this boom, boom, 
boom. And I was like, what the hell's that? Kept me watching. I was like, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Um, the, there was a casualty who wasn't dead, I don't think. Um, you could tell wasn't dead. I'm not going to say he or she because there ain't many characters. <laughs> so I don't I want to give it many away. Um, but that kind of kind of drew me in. I was like, what's going on here? <sighs> so, of course, it has to be at night, hasn't it? We've got no lights because obviously the, the boat's broken down in the middle of the ocean. So it's pitch black. No lights in the boat. Fog is wafting on in. So we can't see a damn thing as usual. It's just like all the save on special effects. It's like, well, how can we wow the audience? I know, let's make it dark and foggy at night time in the ocean where there's no lights. Awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> so, we, we seem to be having a seance. Um, Rachel is just designed to hold a seance, like you do. Um... And it's the best one I've ever seen in anything. The, the, the sort of steps are heard, there's movement, the coins are moving around, and a voice. It's just like, I, I don't normally see this in a seance. Because I don't see any deaths, there's, there's just disappearances, and nobody seems to die. So, th this is the bit I was trying to say, but basically, I was getting into it, really into the film. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I'm kind of curious. I'm, just, I'm trying to strain my eyes, trying to see what the hell's going on. And um, the dog's sort of sleeping next to me on the sofa. And he's having an intense dream. And all you can hear is kind of whoop, whoop, whoop. And he's barking. And next minute he starts howling. <laughs> howling louder though, my god. I mean, I'm trying to get in the moment. And all I can hear is a dog howling next to me because he's asleep. So weird. So weird. Uh, there's not much I can really say about the film because... <laughs> They the just go to the ocean. Well, I'm assuming it's the ocean. I can't see it, and that's it. So they're they're doing a bit of you know stuff up on on the land and whatever, and they go out in the ocean. Boat breaks down, and then, well, there you go. And then her theory kicks in. Um, so you kind of see that. You think, okay, yeah, I'm getting this. And then people see keep disappearing. Uh, but then she has an alternative motive there. It's just like, what the hell's going on here? It's, it just looks it's, it took a kind of a weird sideways thing. I thought, what the hell? Um, it did kind of make sense, but it was just weird. It was an interesting film, though. The ending was good. Uh, there was no real special effects. It was more of a supernatural than a horror. I mean, they class it as a horror, but I wouldn't. I would say it's supernatural. Um, the good music all the way through, apart from that weird beer at the start. You know, it's it's like um, when the, the the people are creating the film, and this is well, we need a track. You know, when the Asians have any track when you're walking out of the cinema and you think, what's this rubbish? But you're just leaving anyway. It's like that. It's like, well, well, we we've paid for it. Brilliant, great. Where can we put it? I know. Let's put it when the boat's setting off. It's just it's so weird. And you think, what the hell's this music? And where's everything else? Like, do 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 do. Kind of that music and. You know, and then you got ling 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 ling. What the hell? <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, what's it got? A three point three. I'm giving it a five. I, I, I enjoyed it. It kept me going. I, I, the steps thing, which be hard to explain, that kept me kind of going. Ooh, what's going on here? What's what's this about? I'm curious now. What's going to happen here? What's ooh, what's happened out there and all this lot and and Tools, who was the um, who was Richard Roundtree. He was good in his his character. I liked him. Um, but it's just yeah, yeah. It, it it was a good film for me. I liked it anyway. But that's just me. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching and listening to uh, this uh, film review of The Haunting of the Mary Celeste. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it does help my channel grow. And obviously, because, you know, uh, give me the old thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment com box below if you've seen this film. Did you enjoy it? Um, does the theory make sense to you if you've seen it? Um, I don't want to sort of say it. I mean, I'm just saying I'm, I'm IMDb. I, in fact, I'll just tell you on IMDb, it just says. Uh, her theory that those on the Mary Celeste vanish into a rift between dimensions. So, yeah. But then it's just like, whoa. <laughs>
there, there must be a lot of people in this rift. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, very interesting film. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.